Hi guys, I'm Bob Chapman, Technical Instructor at the Axon Nobel Training Center in Chicago. Today we're going to talk about making a test panel and why you should make one. We all know that reducer selection, the amount of reducer, uh, gun distance, air pressure, and fluid tip size can play a big role in how a color looks. So you need to know how the color is going to look when you spray it. Uh, first of all, spray the panel like you would spray the car. Keep the panel vertical. Okay, and maintain a proper gun distance. Uh, allow it to flash in between coats and allow it to flash properly before clear coating. Now, I've taken an AMV reading of this uh, panel right here and I've done uh, one spray out card properly. I've done the other spray out card where I've just kind of held it down here and got real close. Got some coverage, blew it off, not quite tacked all the way or flashed all the way. Uh, sprayed another coat, kind of rushed things a little bit and then cleared them. And as you can see in this picture, uh, check out the color difference. Another important thing about uh, doing a test panel is make sure that you're spraying it with clear coat and checking it with clear on it. Now I've sprayed clear on the top half of this and left the bottom half in base coat and sprayed it with some M600 and you can see that the two do not look the same. Check it out. Guys, try to make your spray out cards as early in the process as possible. So don't wait till it's in the paint shop. Do that uh, spray out card. Take your AMV reading when it comes into the, to the body shop. Um, go ahead and verify your color. Um, that way if you need to make a correction, you have plenty of time. Uh, and make sure you save these as your own in your Mix It or Mix It Pro. Uh, add as many notes as you can. And now you have one more tool in your toolbox that's really going to help you out in the long run. Thanks for watching and thanks for choosing Axo Nobel.